Hey guys, Miss Monty Six here again. The screensaver of downtown Austin. I thought I'd do another uh, technology thing here. I'm going to show you a music program that I like to use and how Jaws for Windows, with the accessibility program for the blind, how it actually works with it. Another device I'll talk about later on is the classic Braille device. I guess you could say it's not vintage, but it's from 2000, so it's a little bit on the old side, the Braille Light Millennium 20. So I'll start off with Jaws for Windows. It is a speech program, so even if the screen is all the way black, you can still use your computer without seeing anything. To me, this is just a bunch of colors. I can't read any of the icon things, nor nothing. Without the magnification program, but I'll show you the speech program first. Okay, so I said Goldway. I'm going to go into it. Gold wave. And it ain't on computer. That's a little slow. Multiple document client window. That's what it's saying. So it's telling me to move up and down items to, do, to use arrow keys. Okay. So the ones that would be grayed out, I guess you could say, are the ones that are not available. So JAWS will also tell you uh, when that are grayed out. We will open up a document I recorded yesterday, which is the audio off of a new video we did. I want to open that. Okay, so I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit. And <laughs> uh, the thing is kind of funny because the computer is hearing Saturday, itself FD3. talk. <laughs> so it's hearing itself as far as the setting goes on here. So there is our song with the space bar. Has a little bit of a song there, probably poor audio since I'm using my phone here. Anyway, so what I can do is actually do all the editing without even seeing any of this. JAWS works very well as far as the scripts that uh, Goldwave runs or JAWS runs, whichever. And what I can do is have maybe like a Word document of any kind or some other program. I can actually connect this. Where is it? Right there. So I can connect this with a. a an old-fashioned uh, parallel cable, I guess you could say. Connect this to the computer. Everything that Jaws says will come across in Braille. So, on the days I'm having a bad hearing day, um, what I normally would do is switch over to the Braille display mode on my machine. Uh, this I use in college, uh, all of my schooling and everything, and uh, type all my notes on it. It's basically like a little computer laptop, but without a screen and accessible with a Braille display. These things are quite expensive, unfortunately. They're about $6,000 a piece. Um, but this one has lasted me a long, long time, so it's a pretty sturdy machine. The, uh, JAWS program that I just ran on my computer is over a thousand dollars. And I'm actually going to show you one more program. So it tells me to, to hit the space bar to select certain things. So I'm going to open up. Supernova, real quick. Hopefully it'll do it without taking forever. Anyways, while that loads up, I'll go back to here. Um, 
Like in the other video, I was explaining a little bit about Braille. Um, this might make a little more sense now that you can actually see what they call a Braille cell. Each one of these are its own cell, and there's 32 on this machine. So right here I typed in all six dots, which are dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 together. This combination, which they call a chord. Just like you would on a piano, it has... Uh -oh. <laughs> that one's talking now. Um, anyway, so you have dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and this is considered a cell. If you were to use that in our uh, regular reading and writing, that would be the word F-O-R, four. Right now, this is not in a sentence, so it's just a random, just a full cell in Braille. This also talks, but the speaker cable is damaged, so it doesn't talk anymore. Moving on. I'm going to quickly show you guys Supernova, which is also a very expensive program, and apparently they're not uh, using it anymore, or making it anymore, so I'm glad that I still have it. So now, yay magnification. So this is what I'll use, and this thing can get very, very, very big. And it can get so big you can start seeing the pixels. So what I usually do is I have it around times two, times three, things like that. And see if I can get it going here on the internet. Some of these programs are quite big, so they make the computer slow down just a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and make it a little bit bigger. You can actually select what part of the screen you like magnified too, which is really nice. You can even do uh, speech and visual, or you can do braille, just like I explained with JAWS, which you can connect this machine right there, connect it to the computer with Supernova. And basically this acts just like a CCTV that uh, people with vision impairment will use to read books. So it's basically the same thing, but on a computer. So I've got the internet, all that good stuff. And I'll make it just a little bit bigger so I can see some differences. We'll go times five. <laughs> Real big. The higher the magnification that you do on here, the less of the screen you'll see. This is a widescreen monitor. I don't really care about finance, y'all. <laughs> Yahoo. See, it takes almost all the screen because it's so big. What I'll do is I'll take it down to, to times two. And get more of the screen on there. It is smaller, obviously. But it's good technology. Have a good day, y'all.